All right, here we are in the uh, new Halloween DLC for Train Simulator 2015. This is the Count of Monster Disco expansion, and uh, we will be driving the Spirit of Halloween. Set the brake to zero to release. Wait for the brake pressure to reach 21 inches. Okay. 9% for running break. I'm, not, I'm only at 7%. Why are you... Okay. A lot of steam is needed to get going, so reverse her to 100%. Regular controls the release of steam to be used by the reverser in the, cil in the cylinder. Set the throttle to 15 to get going. I'm actually really glad it's going... Why is my brakes going up? I'm actually really glad it's going through this because I, uh, I don't drive the steam trains too terribly often. Now you're moving, let's find some cobwebs. Need seven to make beautiful hanging lights. Explore Transylvania to find them. What do I mean by explore? Beautiful. Now you're traveling quite fast, set the throttle back onto the dotted line to stop speeding up. Raise the throttle when you want to speed up again. There's a cobweb up ahead, drive through to collect it. Well, I don't really have much choice now, do I? Six more to go. Displayed on the back of the locomotive. Oh, right, little number there. Got it. I guess they expect you to do this one from third person. So this whole set kind of has the uh, kind of toyish look that the uh, Christmas DLC had last year. That was a giant living room. Decorated for Christmas. I'd stop at Dan Sylvania. I don't know who Dan is, but. Alright, so got two of those. The count very impressed with us so far. It's just just fantastic. So looks like the first one's just a basic tutorial how to drive, and it's going to uh Change camera view, any of the buttons on the HUD. Yeah. I guess we were probably better off in the third person view. Oh, that's great. Candy factory. Oh, I really hope that's a thing we use. Running really well is. In addition, so I guess since they don't have to go for the realism, they didn't really have to make this graphically uh, too taxing on your computer. Also, the turns are extremely tight, so I, I don't think I'll be bringing any of the regular locomotives into this track anytime soon, though I might, for just kicks and giggles, take this, uh, take this locomotive on one of the more realistic routes. I'd kind of love to see this thing pulling into uh, something like Penn Station in New York City. Howling things? Why are things howling? Should I be nervous? for a junction. Still got three more cobwebs to go. This is seems to be just kind of a uh, broad tour of the map. There's a little station there. The, 
cool thing about this DLC is, just like last year's, this is the kind of map that at some point you may just wander around in, in the train, just because it's... This is spectacular, right? I mean, this looks so good. I'm glad they're not afraid to let themselves do something silly like this. <laughs> that was my horn. Uh, that was my train whistle. <laughs> okay, won't be using that one uh, too terribly often, I don't think. No bell. Alright. I jumped out of my skin when I did that. A lot of Ys in this map, so it should be pretty easy to get turned around if we need to. And also, a decent tutorial for just driving steam engines. Oh! And we've lost it. <laughs> um. Oops. I was going one mile an hour above the speed limit. Okay, so speed limit on this this particular route, very, very important. <laughs> so I guess I'll try that again. Oops. that was, uh, I was one comp level away from meeting the scenario as well, so we're just going to do that one again real quick. I do intend to just keep going through them until I get bored. Or at the very least, uh, until I run out of them. Not sure if I'll be going through all of the, uh, all of the Count of Monster Disco ones or not. Uh, driver of our... whoops. That's... I didn't just now notice the teeth on that. The driver of our Spirit of Halloween train being a uh, lovely little Frankenstein guy here. Oh, the Kraken! Nice little farm. Station platform there. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with the later missions. This one's just kind of a tour around the uh, around the city here. While we're going, let's actually check on what the overhead map looks like for this. So, decent sized map, nice little yard down here, kind of has a uh, model railroad looking feel to it. A lot of big loops and uh, Ys for turning around. It's like, it feels like if you took a couple of uh, model railroad tables and bolted them together. Kind of a nice little touch here. Why is it giving me a controller? Oh, I do have a controller plugged in, don't I? Yeah, well, I'm not using it. But I have to say, I would really love if this game came to consoles at some point. I feel like uh, getting something with a more unified hardware ex expectations would be really good for the Train Simulator series. They need a uh, they need a base a better baseline because it's it performs so wildly different on every machine, and I think a console release would be good for them. God 
the tunnels are so creepy. There's just howling and sad ghost noises. Farms. I don't want to go to the farms. Oh, we're going to the farms anyway. Beat the ass trees. Nice little haunted house. A bunch of witches on the platform here. A couple of them flipping into each other. That's that's okay. We'll ignore that. Nice creepy bridge. We can still look around when the messages are up. Two more to go. Back to field of view. Bit of an uphill tick here, and we are approaching the Dansylvania station, which I guess is this little town here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I do believe you can play this without the main Train Simulator game. I think if you buy the DLC, you get a, uh, a version of the game that works with just this route. So I can't confirm that myself. Definitely something you want to check on if you just want to play around in this. Previous holiday routes have worked like that, where you can buy just the holiday DLC and you'll get a, a basic version of Train Simulator that'll run it. And did not roll over this time on that turn. And there's our last cobweb. Use your brakes so you coast up to this mansion about 10 miles per hour. Once your loco's in front of the mansion, apply your brake to stop. Red loading bar will start to scroll. Once loading is finished, you will have the cobwebs. Uh, I'm not slowing down very fast. And I ruined the scenario by rolling right through the train station. Right, let's just move on to the next one. I feel like that was uh, that was close enough. Standard scenarios. Back down to the Halloween route. Okay, let's try this one. Pumpkin predicament. Count of Monster Disco. Lovely little ad here for the DLC I've already got. Seeing those cobwebs we collected have been put to good use. Okay, so he's made them into lights, light the lawn. What do we think? More illumination. So we need some pumpkins from the farms. A bunch of pumpkins sat in the yard behind you to get them out to access the other track. So it's actually serving as a pretty nice tutorial for just how to operate a lot of the regular routes. Though, uh, no ghosts in the other routes. Alright, so let's click that and let's go ahead and hit that one too, just in case we roll a bit too far. Set the reverser. Apply the throttle and at no more than six miles an hour. And we'll couple them together, right. Oh, the creaking noises are fantastic. That is such a nice little touch. So lovely, lovely pumpkin patch here. I like the scarecrow with the pumpkin head. Suitably creepy trees. I really hope you can use stuff from this route in, uh, in others. I think a, a route like with this kind of toy-like quality would be kind of a, a neat thing to do more of.
three pumpkins from another pumpkin farm. I don't know where the other pumpkin farm is going to be, so let's check our map show task. Couple the pumpkin wagon to the back of Spirit of Halloween. So let's. Go through these. Wait, which way are we facing? That way. Okay. Get our reverser turned around. Oh, my wheels are slipping. Why they put wheel slip in the Halloween DLC, I do not know, but I will back off on that to avoid damaging the train. I'm going to try not to go too terribly fast. Uh, we don't want to lose another train to tipping over. I'm not exactly trying to speed run this, I'm just trying to enjoy how fantastic the game looks. I'm a little disappointed there's not more music. I thought that was going to be a thing, but, uh, especially given the name of the, of the DLC, but, uh, oh, they're Banshees, right. I get it. I get it. Alright, so we're just going to pull past the pumpkin trailer here and back into it. Let's go ahead and start the brakes. Switch the reverser. Go ahead and let the brakes let off. And should start backing up once that's done. Yes? Okay. So the brakes aren't terribly useful on this, so that's something to keep in mind. But they uh, brake a little bit too much like regular trains, even though this is one of the toy scenarios. The smoke looks fantastic for this train. I wish the driver turned around a bit more, but uh, that's all right. Oh, keep going. trying to tweet and drive at the same time. It's very dangerous. Here we are. Couple that one on. Why do I hear sheep? Why do I hear... Are there sheep in this farm somewhere? I think I'll need a little more light though. Retrieve file bunch of pumpkins from the other farm. I don't see any sheep, but I certainly hear them. Okay. Okay. 
Again, should be able to get around to this farm pretty easily. Uh, I like the freedom they've given you in this route. You just you control all the switches yourself. There's no central uh, switching thing you have to work around decide where you want to go and go. And there's Y's at every junction, so it's super easy to get the train turned around if you have to. Oh, broke a little too hard there. We need to pull past this switch up here if we want to get back and pick up that last truck. I, I love that the, the pumpkins are in a... Uh, I love that the hoppers are coffins. It's a, one of those little things. This makes me enjoy this all the more. Can I switch that from here? Yes, I can. Alright, reversing to the pumpkin here, and this will be our last one for this particular scenario, and then we'll move on to the next one. Assuming I don't miss- well, I mean, if I miss the stop, I'll keep going anyway, but... Got a little bit better of an idea of this train's braking power this time. As long as you don't do something stupid and roll the train over, it should be pretty easy to finish this one up. And I normally play this sort of game from the first person view, but uh, as you can see, not a whole lot of detail in the uh, first person. Alright, so stop. Reverser. make sure our trip is set to bring us back there. And we can put that away. Another lovely pumpkin patch and uh, lots and lots of trees. Oh, I was on a siding, so the speed limit's only 20. Right, so that seems to be pretty basic as far as speed limits go. So, uh, 20 on the sidings, 40 on the main lines. And uh, don't break 40 because that seems to very, very easily kill you. So we learned the first time we attempted the original. The original route. Of course, coming up on the station, so we better sound the horn. actually stop at the station this time. Okay. Yes? Beautiful. And there's the music again. So I guess that'll just happen whenever we're near the, uh, 
Why they, it says Transylvania on the sign, but it says Dan-Sylvania on... On my, uh, on my map here. Fantastic! All the pumpkins have been obtained. I'll make them into lovely jack-o'-lanterns and light up the lawn. Party food should be ready for collection from Newtown right about now. So that'll probably be our next objective. Got an achievement for that. Back down to Halloween. Party food! So this one's got a uh, three-bar difficulty rating, so that... Curious what that entails for a DLC route like this. Guests will have to eat something, and they'll, or they'll quickly wind up eating each other. Quickly con collect all of the food from Old Town. There's the sh the sheep are food. Why are the sheep food? Why are the sheep food? What's wrong with them? Okay. Um. Suddenly uncomfortable with this. <laughs> So this is okay, so I see why this is considered more difficult than the previous one. Alright, so we're going to need to pull forward. Alright, so we need sheep wagon one first. I don't know. Okay, that looks like sheep wagon one and two there, so we're going to aim for that one first. So let's go ahead and just pull past the pull past the main switch here. So some nice little yard shunting with this one. Probably going to wind up being a uh, one of the neater little puzzling mechanic ones of this level. Of this pack, I mean. They're showing off the Marshall Command, which is a relatively new thing they added to Train Simulator. Uh, gives you more free reign to assemble the wagons how you'd like. You have to figure out the best way to do it. Previously, in a scenario like this, they would have had to write instructions sending you to each individual signing to get the get the cars you need, but... I think that came out in either 2013 or 2014, unless you just pick a bunch of, of uh, random cars and tell the player to bring them to this one certain place. So that is what we will be doing. Flip the switch, reverser, brakes off, throttle back on. Make sure we're set. We're set. So we're going to be picking up those poor little sheep first. I guess those are probably for the werewolves. Which makes me a little sad. Hopefully they'll just be, like, hugging the sheep and not eating them. Let's see, what should we imply that our, our monsters eat in this lovely little kind of kid-oriented DLC thing we're releasing? I know, how about they eat live sheep? Yes, I know, I know. Go slow. Uh, are we actually on track for this? Yeah. I'll leave Cauldron Wagon 1 and 2 next. I'm looking around for the cauldrons. I don't actually see them yet. They'll, they'll be down here then. Oh, 
all these poor sheep. Why would they do this? I'm not sure if they expect you to just like fling your train into this siding and slam on the brakes to collect these or actually do this nice and slow and gingerly like the uh like you're supposed to. I guess I kind of like bumped them away from the train. There we are. Got them now. Okay, so we're going to pull just past the yard entrance and reverse into the cauldron siding. Okay, so it doesn't keep going if you hold down the spacebar, it's just that one can screen. Probably a good thing, now that I think about it. I wonder if that was someone who works for the, uh, the trains and people who record that. <laughs> uh, so those are the cauldrons over here. Up by the white shed on the other side of the tracks there. So, uh, if you're wondering what happened to these sheep from the Serta commercials that have all but disappeared, I think now we know. This one, I believe. Those two set correctly, yeah. So on the bright side, while it, the uh, brakes on this train kind of suck, they do respond very, very quickly, so you can control this one pretty easily with the mouse. And you don't get points off for braking too hard. Oh wait. Oh, the smoke things are little ghosts. I only just noticed that. That's lovely. I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if you brought a regular train onto this route and tried to pick up passengers at the stations. I wonder if it would spawn regular passengers or like the little creepy people passengers like that. Uh, speaking of, what kind of passengers are these? Think these are zombies? Yep, these are zombies. those. Alright, what's next? So we got the cauldron wagons, we need the sweet wagons, so we'll need to pull back out to the yard entrance, reverse over to here, and then pull through to this reverse point, back up and pick up the sweets. It's a fairly complicated, uh, fairly complicated little scenario here. I like the tentacles, very nice touch.
Alright, so just need to pull this car past this switch up here. And we can reverse. So we're going to need to reverse past the uh, second switch back there. And then pull forward. Switch that. That's that way, that way, that way, yeah. So you don't have to be very careful on the uh, brake or reverser, but uh, handle the throttle pretty gingerly. I keep getting wheel slip. ahead of me are set properly for me to pull past in reverse. Yes, that will do nicely. Alright, so we're pulling around these cars so we can hook them to the back of our engine. We don't have a coupler on the front, so we can't just grab them and pull them out here and make it easier to, to do. But luckily that was thought of in the design for this. I'm really glad the sheep aren't making noises, because that would just make me sadder. Look how sad they look! This is terrible. They, they even look sleepy like the Serta sheep, and there's a black one. I like the black sheep. That makes me happy. No pink sheep. A little disappointed there's no pink sheep. A nice little Minecraft re reference. That's four. I guess that's just kind of like an engine storage thing that they're trying to imply. It's the end of the line either way, so I need to, as soon as this car is through the uh, through the siding, I need to slam on the brakes so we don't hit the buffer at the end. That'll do. Still good? Good, we didn't even go in the shed. So let's reverse. Oh, I still got the brake on. Alright, so picking up the two candy cars. Nope, nope, I'm trying to read the sign. We have Harper's Victorian Suites. Lovely little Charlie and the Chocolate Factory looking building here. So we've got the sweet wagons, we need the pumpkin juice wagons, which are on the wine siding. So apparently they couldn't say wine in uh, the pumpkin juice descriptor, but they're happy to say wine on the actual map here. These are already set, yeah, so I just need to pull past that switch so I can move forward.
Okay, so the creep, the creaking noise, really nice touch when there's only one car in the train. A little bit much when there's eight. A little much. Oh, I'm just noticing that the candy texture on that is just like a 2D sticker on the inside of the, of the glass. Okay, that could have been done a little bit better. But I guess if you built a giant candy machine like that, you'd probably not have actual candy in it. You'd probably just have a sticker that made it look full all the time. I'm trying to justify that. None of this needs to be justified. I'm driving a train with a jack-o'-lantern on the front end of it. get out yet, yeah. and then we can back up right into this side in here. So yeah, that's going to be perfect. Yeah, easy, easy. So that's this, uh, this second bit here that we need to get on. Double check, make sure that's right. Yes, okay. Perfect. There's eyeballs in the uh, in the cauldron car. That's nice. Again, I love that the hoppers are giant coffins. That's also a delightful little touch. for our wine cars here. I think that's those over there. I think they're going to be giant jack-o'-lanterns like our train head is, because they called it pumpkin juice in the text box. to approach this nice and gingerly so we don't crash after doing all this work already. I would like to see the end of this particular scenario. I'd like to see the end of all the scenarios optimally, but yeah. screwed up the first one. And connect. All right, so that's all. Okay, so they're giant barrels. That's they're not pumpkins like I was expecting. Though they do have teeth on them, so that's you know that's that's close enough, I think. Escrow's pumpkin juice. Escrow. Ha. Right, let's double check and make sure our path is set to get out of the yard. No problem. Yep, alright, so pull past the, uh, pull past there and reverse back to the platform. Or we can do a nice loop if we'd like. I think we'll just be reversing. Not that there's any other traffic on, on the, uh, on the level. Back up to the engine. Lovely little train we've assembled here. I'm not sure if we get to to uh, drive this all the way or not. No, it looks like this is just going to be our only only mission. We might get to deliver that to the mansion in the next 
next scenario. Not sure. Alright, just pulling out of the yard. We do have to keep going, though, because we need to get on the uh, far track to finish this one up. Pretty much all the way up to that tunnel, I believe, depending on which way that switch is set. Yeah, we'll be pulling pretty much all the way to the tunnel to reverse. Back to the last car so we can just slam on the brakes once we see that one has cleared the uh cleared this track. I really hope people take the tools that have come out for this sort of thing and do some some non Halloween themed toy toy set sorts of DLCs. I would love to see this sort of thing come out more often. Train a little bit slower to accelerate now that we have all these cars on it, which is I mean, expected if you're driving an actual train. I was I'm a little surprised to see that they've uh, modeled that sort of behavior in the toy trains. So we just need to back up to the station platform, and then we are all set for this scenario. Take a look at the lovely little town over here. Some toy cars, jack-o'-lanterns in front of all the houses, as is right with the world. Again, though, the houses themselves are not Halloween-themed, so this could easily be used to make all kinds of neat little maps. You got the toy trains from last year's Christmas DLC. Plus, of course, you can just slap uh, regular trains into a toy route and they'd look just fine. I mean, I know I personally was running a uh, an Amtrak set around. Hello? Did I miss something? Juice Wagon 1, Wagon 2. Right, Sheep, Sheep, Cauldron, Cauldron. Sweet Wagon, Sweet Wagon, Pumpkin Juice, Pumpkin Juice. Did I miss something? Or are we out of order? Oh, I'm going to be so mad if... It looks like they're backwards. It looks like they're backwards, and I'm a little annoyed at that. Oh, no. Okay, so apparently the order matters, and I was supposed to pick up the pumpkin juice first, because I read that backwards. Because that... Really? Really? Okay, okay, this this is an easy fix. Just gonna take some, uh... I'm gonna take a little careful maneuvering here. Actually, forget that, let's go forward. Easy fix, easy fix, easy fix. We've got more than enough switches over here to solve this problem nice and quick. Just need to decouple all the cars and recouple them in the right order. I'm really annoyed that they made the order matter for this. different types of car. A 
Let's go ahead and reverse. Okay, so we're going to drop the pumpkin wine off on this track here before we go into back into the yard. Then we're going to back up, drop off the, uh, we're going to use this three-way switch right here. Drop off each of the other cars there, pull out, grab the pumpkin spice, pick everything back up in order. Hopefully that will work. Pumpkin spice, I mean pumpkin wine. So good to know that the order matters that much. Uh, wish I'd known that beforehand. Thought I was picking them up in order, but I wasn't paying quite enough attention. So that's good. That means we were put, supposed to pick the sheep up last, so the, hor the horrified realization that they were going to eat a bunch of innocent-looking sheep was supposed to last the least amount of time as possible. Instead, I picked them up first. Drop off the sweet wagons. Right forward. So if you're uh, just joining us, we are just rearranging our train because we picked up the cars in the wrong order. We are uh, loaded up with a bunch of food, different foodstuffs for a monster party at the mansion with the Count of Monster Disco. And yes, that means the sheep are indeed foodstuffs. Warming as that might be. And, uh, I picked up all the cars in the wrong order, so we're just fixing that right now. Okay, so once I have these out of the way so I can pull past and grab the cauldrons, we'll drop these off and then just pick up all the cars in the exact same order. I just dropped them.
flicking the switches as we drive past, so I don't forget those later. This DLC pretty clearly intended to be played from the third-person point of view. Again, the first-person camera, that's typically how you play this game, is... Well... Oh god, I just looked in the, uh... In the coal car. That's a little alarming. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that the uh, a train that's called the Spirit of Halloween runs on skulls. So we've got the pumpkin wine. Trying to grab the candy, then the cauldrons, then the sheep. And this is where I need to be careful, because this is probably where I can do the most damage if I go a little bit too fast, since we're coupling these wagons back together. Very, very easy to control. This DLC clearly meant for newer players to the game, or people who just don't drive steam engines very often, like myself. I tend to go for the American Diesel DLC releases, so this is a bit different for me. But not unwelcome. I really like the aesthetic style they've gone for. The toy-like quality of all the scenery is very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what people do with this outside of the uh, Halloween DLC, because of course not everything is Halloween themed in here, so we might see some neat little neat little toy sets in the future. I hope. It was very similar to a set they released last year that was a uh, a li giant living room at Christmas time, which I might load up after we complete the Halloween DLC, just as a uh, here's what happened last time sort of thing. A little too overzealous on the throttle there, so we've got uh, pulled well past where we needed to. Alright, so hopefully this time it will give me the mission accomplished once we pull into that station platform. Okay, that's everything. In the right order this time. Once again, we're going to pull just past the switch up here and reverse back onto the... Uh, Back to the station platform where we're supposed to assemble this train. A little annoyed that they made the uh, order of the cars that important and phrased it so misleadingly in the uh, in the title there. Yep, got it. Almost forgot to stop there. There we are. 
So once again, just showing the uh, what our orders were was to assemble sheep wagon, cauldron wagon, sweet wagon, and pumpkin juice wagons at the second platform. So I grabbed them in that order, where it actually wanted them in the order wagon one, wagon two, wagon two, wagon one, etc., etc., which is the complete opposite order from the way I picked them up. So. Hopefully this will solve that particular problem. It's going to pull up and leave the sheep right in front of the station, I believe. Brakes on this thing aren't great, but they are fairly responsive. They activate as soon as you hit the lever. Did we do it? Yes? Maybe? Something weird is going on. Alright, let's just, uh... Oh, we don't have any individual brakes on the cars. This is not counting it for some reason. No, I'm getting further away from it. According to that. So let's Pull forward, I guess? Maybe this DLC wasn't quite as uh, QA tested as they should have. Watching the uh, N.06 mile number down underneath where it tells me to stop. Stop it. Yeah, well, that's right here. And stop here. Do I get the credit for this now? Maybe? No? No? I think it's because my speed's doing odd things. Alright, whatever. Let's just go on to the next one. That's disappointing. Add and remove zero out of eight real vehicles. Improper horn use twice. Alright, whatever. So, uh, clearly they need to do a little bit of bug testing on this Halloween route. Polish guests, wicked witches. Oh, some passenger pickups. Got it. I can do passenger pickups. Passenger pickups are my sort of thing. All my decorations are in place. It's time to pick up the guests. Drive to the witches' cottages and pick up the witches. Bring them back here. The implied addition to that being the words alive. 
Um, I guess I want to go there. There, there. There. That, and... There. There. Alright, that will bring us back properly. Uh, no it won't, because I'm facing the opposite direction. I'm actually going that way, so I want it to yeah, we'll just make that turn there. Now we're good. Yeah, we're good. As long as I remember to change the uh, switches up after we pick up the witches. I rather like this uh, kind of open-ended mission feel where you just set your own path to get to where it wants you to go. Achievement unlocked spooky sprint. I guess that's for uh, driving a certain distance in uh, in this Halloween map. Making the turn to the, I believe this is coming up on the really creepy looking bridge. Yes, there we are. The uh, slasher film bridge. Which has uh, curious lighting effects that's dropped my frame rate down abysmally. And oh, I am not stopping in time. Oh, I, I lost the mission because of that. <laughs> okay, so watch the speed. Got it. Oops. I forget uh, distances in this game, not quite what uh, they seem. Yes, 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 yes. Close. There, there, and those are properly set. So, reverse are full, brakes off, go. Can't believe I did that. That's the uh, same, same way I failed the first scenario. Oops. actually properly looked at the uh, carriages on this yet. Uh, so they, they look quite nice. Like, uh, old old stagecoach looking things. I'll be honest, this is kind of what I pictured in uh, on the Hogwarts Express in the novels, but uh, not the design they went with in the uh, in the film, that's for sure. Obviously they were red. But, uh, that would be a nice, uh, that would be a really nice DLC engine, because they did just come out with the line from the films. That giant aqueduct that the train goes over in the movies. The Hogwarts Express engine would be kind of nice. I doubt they will. Remember this time? Remember this time hitting the brakes already? Oh, I'm gonna miss it again! No! Damn it. Alright, 
so remember when I said I was good at getting passengers? I lied. See, that time I was trying to rush through it. The first time I just didn't realize it was that close already. over on the curve. Okay, I'm going to start bringing our speed down now when I get about 20 miles an hour when we're going underneath the bridge. approach here. Hearing the uh, spooky noises. As we go through the uh, curiously frame rate killing bridge. of each other. Just uh, ignore that. Do we have a passenger camera? No, we do not. sensitive at all. Another frame rate destroying bridge. Alright, 
time to start murdering our speed so we don't overshoot the station again. better than the first two attempts, I, I must say. I'm just waiting for it to uh, confirm that I have in fact finished the, uh, finished the level. There we are! get some more guests. I don't know why they couldn't have done all of these in uh, in one one scenario, but it happens, I guess. Help me, help me, help me. I've gone too far, haven't I? These are in alphabetical order. Halloween routes. Zany zombies. So you can see the witches hanging out on the platform now. And my train has been turned around. Alright, so the zombies live in Newtown. Right. Make sure I've got the switches set properly. Let's just do one one big loop. Yeah? I think that's a big loop. Looks like a big loop. Let's go. Forgot to turn the brakes off. That would have been uh, a little awkward to explain had I not been were I not a uh, Frankenstein's monster? Alright, so we're heading back over to where we gathered up the uh, foodstuffs in the scenario that would not complete. to the station this time, so we're going to be able to keep our speed up a bit longer. Oh, I bet that's the werewolves. That's probably where they live. Because those totem poles look like werewolves. Also, howling. start bringing my speed back once we exit the tunnel here. Again, we're going to be doing about 20 when we approach the town. 15 as we pull into the station so I can just choose where I stop.
again, very, very lovely town. Nice uh, zombie apocalypse looking thing, I guess. It is the implied, uh, implied thing there, since the zombies are the station passengers. Shuffling into into the carriages there. Yeah, just straight back to Dancelvania. back with the zombies. The witches have already eaten most of the finger foods. That's alarming. I didn't know witches ate fingers. Again, if you haven't noticed, the uh, smoke effect is tiny little ghost... ghost poofs. Poofy ghosts. train interior here. Lots of pipes and valves that we just don't get to see. I don't know if they move. No, they don't appear to move. Passing one of the Farms. Alright, about a third of a mile from the uh, final destination, so we're going to bring our speed down to around 20. I think that should do it for that one, and I guess we do have one more group of people to pick up for the next scenario, and then uh, one... Right. Uh, this game, I do believe, is currently $4.99 on Steam. 
Uh, it is part of Train Simulator, so it's just a DLC release for that. I'm gonna move on to the next level here. Oh, we got vampires to pick up as well before we get the mummies. and zombies are getting along quite nicely. Vampires are next. Go and fetch them from the graveyard. Let's see where that is on our map. Alright, so nice, nice close one here. Switches all look like they're appropriately set. So make sure we can just do a loop again. Yep, that'll do. Reverse are set to four, breaks off, and go. See the uh, witches and zombies hanging out. The Count himself now on the platform. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there might be a few less sheep than there were the first time. Urgh. too far to go on this one so we can keep our speed pretty low. Don't want to overshoot the platform. I think that's actually the graveyard coming up ahead just now. Oh no, we're turned off. Just be somewhere over here. Don't see it yet. Oh, turning again. Right. And here's the station, so we do need to stop pretty much now. They still look like vampires. They look like the Bride of Frankenstein. Also, they're howling like werewolves. like vampires, so I guess that kind of works. Nice touch, I think. lovely element to the Twitch chat. Let me see if I can get a link for the Counter Monster Disco for the Twitch chat here. Once again, I will be tweeting and driving, so uh, if I miss something, apologies in advance. This area looks nice. That was one of the pumpkin fields.
Okay, I uh, added a link to the DLC in the Twitch chat, if you are interested. I do believe it's currently $4.99, though that's just a special launch deal. Might be going up to uh, $9.99 afterwards. This is a DLC add-on for Train Simulator 2015. I'm still checking to see if it runs separately. Last year it was uh, Trains vs. Zombies 2, and that worked separately from from the Train Simulator game, so you might be able to just get this one thing. No, you can just buy this outright for $4.99. It does not require the base game, so go for it if you are interested in this. And then from there, I do believe you can also add other Train Simulator releases to the game if you'd like. This does run on its own, so a very nice little Halloween game you can grab. $4.99 on Steam. Link is in the chat. There we are. Just need to pick up the mummies, and we'll be ready for... Party final destination reach. That's not ominous at all, is it? Great Western Main Line, Hebron North, Horseshoe Curve. I think Halloween is before Horseshoe. Halloween! Manic Mummies, go! Almost got all the party guests. I'm, I'm expecting a lovely cutscene to finish this off once we have everyone assembled. Guests are getting along nicely. Go collect some mummies. So the path's set already. There, there. Good. All the switches are set for once. So, full speed ahead. and the mummies, or uh, the witches, the zombies, and the vampires all mingling nicely on the station platform with the Count of Monster Disco. I'm sure the mummies will fit in quite nicely. I'm not sure we've been by the uh, mummies area, so I'm curious to see what that looks like. Cranking the speed up as we head into a tunnel. down. I derailed last time I went to over 40. Hilarious as that was when that happened earlier. So we should be seeing the mummy area when we come out of this tunnel.
Okay, so the mummy's town is, uh, rather like the zombie town. Actually, I think it is the zombie's town. It's just the other side of the zombie's town. Huh. Odd. Three identical shops right next to each other. Can't say they aren't lacking for competition. Egypt Expedition. Exhibition. Okay, so they came out of the museum. That makes sense. Alright, loading up our zombie friends. Our uh, mummy friends, which I guess are really just a form of zombies, aren't they? seem to be having some trouble finding the carriages. Oh, there they go. No? This, uh, this one's moving in slow motion. Alright, I guess they're not coming. Oh, that one got off. Later, guys. You missed the party. So just heading back to Dansylvania. Appropriately named Count the Monster Disco's Castle. I guess the Count the Monster Disco is named Dan. Yeah, big candy factory back there. Uh, we passed by this area when we were assembling the snacks for the party earlier. aesthetic style of all this, because none of this is particularly Halloween themed except for the train. So they could very easily move this into, okay, and the tentacle monster in the lake is a little bit Halloween themed, as are the ghost switching things. But this could easily, a lot of these assets could be used to make a, uh, a really nice toy train map for the game. I'm hoping to see this pop up more often. Also, this is uh, running quite smoothly on my computer, which is impressive for any release that this company makes, so I would very much like to see more of this style of release. And if your passengers just happen to be vampires and zombies, so be it. now. Close enough. Of course, the, uh, the Count himself surrounded by vampire ladies. Yeah, those look like Plants vs. Zombies zombies. They, they have horns? I think they have horns. It might just be a curiously poor design and uh, choice in the hairstyle. So I think that was the last of the Gather Your... Um, 
party guest thing. So I think there's one more mission to go, and then we'll be calling this a night. Werewolf racing. That sounds exciting. This should be the last mission of the Count of Monster Disco DLC. All the guests are here, but the werewolves. Bring them back to the mansion before they transform. I've picked a route for you through special gallows that will slow their transformation. Hurry back, but slow down for corners. Go. Oh. Oh. There's a checkpoint. Yes, that gave us another minute. So this is a neat little uh, little thing. You gotta keep your speed up. Hit all the checkpoints and get your werewolves back back safely before they transform. Transition there. I'm trying to keep an eye on our timer on the back of my locomotive. Got a checkpoint in here. Only got 30 seconds to get to the next one. Oh, that's right here, though. Nope, this is just a bridge. Where's the checkpoint? it a little close. I guess I don't want them on the train when they become werewolves. That's, that does actually sound like a bad thing. That one actually lowered my time, I think. <laughs> they gave me a whole minute to get around that little curve. Slow down, stopping in the mansion. About 35 seconds, more than enough time. Twenty-five seconds, come on, coast into the station. Alright, stop. Fifteen seconds. I think we're good. Everyone's dancing. The werewolves are already here. <laughs> Look at the werewolves are dancing on the platform. And dancing. be on later on tonight to uh oh that was a very sudden sudden end i thought it was going to go out with a little more music 
We'll be on later tonight for some alien live streaming. Thank you all for joining me, and have a great evening.